Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed Farid Hassan and in today's video we are going to learn how to generate a high quality structured airfoil mesh using a completely open source tools. This tutorial will guide you step by step through the process so you can apply it to your own CFD projects. By the end of this tutorial you will be able to create a block mesh dictionary file for an airfoil CFD domain using the multi-block technique and run it in open form to generate a high quality mesh. This is part one of two part series. Before we start, don't forget to like, subscribe and share to get all tutorials. So let's get started. To follow up with this tutorial, leave a comment saying interested and include your email address. I will send you a link to download the project folder so you can follow along step by step with this tutorial. Inside the project folder, you will find two subfolders, system and constant. There are also a Python script named NACA for gen, which is generates the coordinates for the airfoil. Finally, you would find a result file named result.form that you can open in Paraview to visualize the mesh. Inside the system folder, you will find two block mesh decked files. One is empty with placeholder function. We will create this together during this, the tutorial. The other is the model answer, which has the word final in its file name. Open the block mesh deck file. You will see empty sections for vertices, blocks, edges, and boundaries. Let's learn how to fill each one step by step. Start by sketching your CFD domain in the XY plane. Make sure to include the inlet, outlet, and the airfoil wall as this layout will define the boundaries and shape of your simulation mesh. Next, size your CFD domain relative to the airfoil cord. In this case, I used 10 cords upstream, 20 cords downstream, and 10 cords above and below the airfoil. Next, split your CFD domain into blocks. In this case, I divided it into four blocks Splitting the domain makes it easier to control the mesh density, improve alignment around the airfoil, and achieve more structured and higher quality mesh for the simulation. Now, number the four corners of each block with vertex IDs and assign coordinates to them based on the CFD domain size you selected earlier. This step defines the geometry of your mesh and ensures consistency when we connected the blocks together. Then write down the coordinates of the eight vertices, this time adding z equal 0 to each point. Even though our case is two-dimensional, OpenFoam requires the vertices to be defined in 3D space. Enter them into the block mesh dictionary file in the same order as shown here. Next, to create the 3D blocks, extrude the 2D block by duplicate the 8 vertices and change the Z value from 0 to, for example, 0.3. This gives the domain a small thickness in the Z direction, which allows OpenFoam to generate the 3D mesh. Now we have four 3D blocks, and each block can be defined using the 8 vertices. Let's go through how to define each block in the block mesh deck file and assign the required number of elements inside each block to control the mesh resolution. So let's start with block 0. It has 8 vertices beginning from the lower left corner and moving counterclockwise. So it is defined as a hexa block with the vertices 0, 1, 2, 3, 8, 10, 11, 12. Remember, Using a counterclockwise order is important to keep the block orientation correct and avoid errors in the mesh generation. For this block, we will use 70 elements in the x direction, 50 elements in the y direction, and just one cell in z direction. With simple grading of 111 to keep all mesh uniform with equal distance between elements. For the next blocks, repeat the process for block 1 with 75 elements in x direction, 50 elements in y direction, and 1 element in z direction. Using a uniform distribution, remember 
this block shares the y direction distribution with block 0 and the x distribution with block 3 then proceed similarly for block 2 and block 3 after defining all four blocks write the definition into your block mesh text file as for After finishing the block definitions, I'll show you how to construct the edge section. By default, OpenFoam treats the edge between any two vertices as a straight line, so we need to define any other edges manually. In this case, the inlet of the domain has four arcs, so we will define them as arcs using the start and end vertex by writing its number along with a coordinate of the third point on the arc as shown here. Then the airfoil has four splines. We need to define each spline by specifying the start and the end vertex numbers, along with a set of points along the curve. I'll use a Python script to generate the coordinates of 50 points on each spline. Go to the project folder, open a terminal and run the following command, Python 3 NACA for gen 0012 space 1 space 50 space 0.3 then enter 0012 is your the required airfoil shape and then 1 is representing the chord length 50 is the required number of points and 0.3 is the span this command will generate two files, one at z equal 0 and the other at z equal 0.3, containing all coordinates needed for defining the airfoil spline. Open the generated text files in the project folder, copy the upper spline points and paste them into the spline between vertex 1 and vertex 0 following the correct spline direction, in this case from trailing edge to leading edge from vertex 1 to vertex 0. Repeat the process from the, for the lower edge between vertex 8 and 0 and then do the same for the other two splines at z equal 0.3. Now that we have finished the edges, let's move on to the boundary definitions. Here, each group of faces will represent a physical boundary in our CFD domain. For example, the green faces in our sketch corresponds to the inlet. To define them, we simply list the corner points of each face in order. We will follow the same approach for the outlet interface and finally the airfoil wall. By organizing these patches clearly, OpenFoam will understand where fluid enters, where it exits, and which surfaces act as walls. Next, go back to your block mesh deck file and write down all the boundary definitions exactly as shown here. Be sure to include the inlet, outlet, and the airfoil wall and interface. Also, don't forget to add a default batches to handle unselected faces. Now, our block mesh deck file is complete with all required definition, vertices, blocks, edges, and boundaries. Go to your terminal and run the block mesh command once it finish open the resulting dot form file in bar view click apply and zoom in to inspect your mesh at this stage the mesh is ready but it still needs refinement and boundary layer inflation. We will cover this improvement together in part 2 of this tutorial series. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel for more tutorials, and don't forget to share it with others who might find it useful.